Yo, what is going on guys? It is Tyler here back with another YouTube video. Now in today's video guys, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to get stretch res on Fortnite using your AMD graphics card. Now you could do this with a Nvidia graphics card, but since I have an AMD graphics card, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it with that. The steps are just a little bit different and I noticed that there weren't as many videos on how to do it with AMD, so I thought I'd show you guys. Now let's get into the video. Alright guys, so the first step you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to right click or whatever however you get into your AMD software and you're gonna want to load that up the next thing you guys are going to do is go over to this search tab right here and type in display and display settings should pop up that's what you guys are gonna want so click on that it should bring you over to something like this and you go over to what by where it says custom color you go all the way down to where it says custom resolutions and you guys are gonna want to create a new custom resolution there might be some like terms or whatever they have to agree to so just scroll through that and hit agree before you do this if you haven't done it before but for me I've already done it so this pops up and just hit create new now you guys are going to want to you know switch it to whatever stretch res you guys are going to use for this video I'll use 1440 by 1080 because I think that's a pretty good uh, stretch res so you guys are going to want to change this one to whatever you guys are, we're going to do so 1440 here and then go all the way down to timing display and change that to 1440 also or whatever you guys were going to change it to and then just make sure your refresh refresh rate is whatever your monitors at mine's a 75 hertz monitor so i leave that at 75 and then you guys just want to hit create just warning you guys i mean this doesn't matter but your screen will go black for a second so just don't freak out if that happens so i'll do this real quick and that'll happen All right, now it's back on and you guys have your custom resolution. So basically what this does, guys, is when you load up Fortnite and have it in the Fortnite files with the same resolution, your card will recognize what resolution it's running and change it to that instead of leaving it as the default one. So now let's go on to the next step. All right, so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is actually go and change your resolution in the Fortnite in-game files. So how you guys are going to do that is go down to where it says search anything or whatever. And you guys are going to want to type in percent local app data percent and then it should come up with this file folder what you guys are going to want to do is click on that it should bring up all this because i want to click on fortnite game go to saved go to config and then go to windows client and then it should pop up with this game user settings just make sure for, before you guys do this is you guys want to right click right here go all the way down to properties and make sure read only is unchecked um, if it's checked that means you can't edit anything that's inside of this little script or whatever so you guys want to uncheck that so you can and then you would just hit ok and then apply I already have it unchecked so I don't have to do that just X out of that and then go over here let right click again and you guys are going to want to go to edit it should bring up this big script here and the easiest thing to do to change the resolutions with all this stuff that's hard to find you guys just go to edit and then you go to replace this is the easiest way to do it you could technically go through and find all the resolutions and change them but this just makes it so much easier so you guys are going to want to you know to change the resolution i'm assuming you would want to change the resolution the first one 1920 so you guys will go find 1920 and then replace it with, up with whatever resolution you guys were going to use for uh, your Fortnite game. So I was going to change mine to 1440. And then you guys just replace all. That should replace all your resolutions. And then you guys are just going to go file, save. So it saves all your stuff. And then you're good to just X out of it. Now that you guys are in a game, it should look something like this. The reason that I'm using stretch res and that other people might want to use stretch res is that it makes everything look wider just like your player looks wider so it should make it easier to hit shots because you know everything's wider I mean that might just be a theory but like I think it does actually work because I did see an increase in my aiming when I was using stretch res I mean the only downside to this is it does make your uh, game look a lot less quality than it did when it was on 1920 by 1080 but that's just because it's stretching everything out but another thing that's good is it will give you better frames than you've had before so that's also another upside to using this but all in all it is pretty good and it does help me a lot 
So yeah guys, that's really it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.